Okay. <laughs> help. Help. Okay, I guess I'm going to have a little helper today. Asher, you should just... No? You're not going to help me? Hi, everyone. So today's video is going to be a haul. And I attended IMAT LA this year. So it was a pretty interesting event. Um, it was super, super busy. I don't know if it was really worth it to go. Because the lines were so busy and it was super hectic. And I, I didn't get everything I wanted. I went with my best friend and our husbands went with us. So it was really nice to have them with us because um, the lines were like ridiculously long. Like I'm not even kidding you. They're so long like... Um, right, right when we got there, the first place we went to was Sugar Pill, and the line was like crazy. It like wrapped around, and we're like, um, you know, we're just trying to find the end. So we found the end, and then we saw another booth. We saw Nigel's, and we wanted to go to Nigel's, so our husbands stayed in the Sugar Pill line, and then they knew that we wanted to go to Lime Crime, because like we've been talking about it the whole uh, time, you know, so... They didn't even want to go to Lime Crime. I guess they overheard somebody talking about the Lime Crime line. That it was like a long line. And it was. You had to wait in line to shop the products. And wait in a different line to check out. And uh, the line to shop was 30 minutes. And then the line to check yeah. out was an hour. My friend's husband stayed in the Sugar Pill line. While we went to Nigel's and waited in that line. And then my husband went to the um, Lime Crime shop line. And so we were done first. And then we went to Sugar Pill. And then we had... Or her husband going in the checkout line so it was kind of like you know one person was in one line well me and my friend was in one line and then uh, our husbands were in different lines so it's kind of how it worked and uh, it was actually a really good idea to bring them so it wasn't a waste of fifty dollars each person you know but anyways and they were so kind it was their idea because they knew that the quicker we shopped the quicker we'd be out of there so they were fine with that um and they, it's not like they were doing anything. If they were just staying with us, they'd just be on their phones. So they could be on their phones in line for us. So yeah, that's that's kind of how it happened. Um, again, it was so hectic. Um, and I, and then I got really hungry because we ate in the morning. But um, we got there kind of late, like around 11, I want to say. By noon, I was getting really hungry. So I was eating and then uh, we had to go wait um, in line again. Um, yeah, so that's about, that's my experience with IMATS. It was just super hectic. I probably won't attend again. I don't know, who knows, maybe. Um, but, yeah, so I bought a ton of stuff. And this is a Lime Crime bag. And I just love, love, love the bag. So, I, um, some of the things in here I bought from IMATS. And some things I just bought from uh, different stores uh, in L.A., um, like the Asian stuff, I bought it from this, I don't know what it's called. And then I feel like they're a little overpriced, but um, I only got a few things from there anyways. But yeah, so m the majority of the things I did get from IMAT. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started because I know this is going to be a long video because I did get a ton of stuff. So um, I'm going to start off with whatever's on top. From So from the Asian shop, um, I got these cotton pads. And I remember uh, when I went to Generation Beauty last year with Sam, she got these and she loved them. So uh, I don't know why I didn't get a pack at that time, but I decided to get a pack because I needed some anyway. So I got a pack of these. And then I got some face masks. And these are kind of pricey, but I'm hoping that they work good. These are $4.99 each. So I got two of the poor ones and then two of the wrinkle ones. And then two of the collagen ones. And I don't I don't even know what brand this is. This is um Beauty Clinic Metaheal. I don't know. I, I I've never tried this brand, I've never heard of it. I just saw it and um it's a two step, so I just assumed that it'll work good. So now from IMATS. I got some brushes from Morph Brushes and yeah, these are they. They seem like good quality brushes, so I'm excited to use them. I don't want to use them yet. I was waiting. I'm waiting till after this haul video. Um, I'll wash them and start using them. But yeah, so I got an angled like concealer brush, a blending brush, a angled shadow brush, um, a dual fiber concealer brush, a bigger concealer brush, pencil brush, smudger brush, an angled contour brush. Spoolie and another of the angled um, eyeshadow brush. 
So from the Dose of Colors booth, I got this lip gloss and petals and purple fusion. Next, I got two lipsticks and I got them in Love Potion and Dark Secrets. And Dark, I mean, Love Potion is, um, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a purplish pink, like a lavender pink. And then this one is just a purple. Then I got a pair of lashes. So, I, these, I got these in double dose. So next from Anastasia, I got the contour kit. And let me show you guys in case you, some of you don't know how it looks like. Um, it just has some contour shades and some highlight shades. Then I got some more beauty blenders because I love beauty blenders. I love using these on clients as well. So I got two new ones. So next from Lime Crime, I got three velveteens. I got them in the red velvet, suede berry, and pink velvet. Then I got a few eyeshadows from Sugar Pill, and I'm really sad because um, I wanted to see a mochi, but I didn't realize it until I got home that I got After Party instead, and I already have After, after Party. Anyways, I'm really excited about these because these are the newest ones, and I believe they said that... Um, it came out at IMATS first before they released it like um, online or anywhere else. So the first two colors is Candy Crush and Kitten Parade. Ah. And these are super cute colors. I love the white because um, usually they're black because all the Sugar Pill single eye eyeshadows are black. But these are super cute and super girly. Next is Frostine and Hotsy Totsy. And this is a matte color. This is a um, shimmer. Then from Nigel's, again, um, I bought a ton of lashes because they had like this lash blowout sale. And these were only a dollar each, so I got, um, I think, 25 pairs of this design. This is number 43, and the brand is Monda Studio. So I got 25 pairs of these because I feel like these are the only ones that I would wear. Because these remind me a lot of the Demi Wispies, and those match my eyes the best. And then I also got two packs of the individual lashes that look like this. And I'm wearing this on my bottom lash right now. So that's what I have on. So from Lime Crime, I got some nail polishes. And these were on sale for only $6 or 6 almost 7 bucks. So I got Peaches and Cream, Once in a Blue Mousse, Milky Ways, and Creme, Crema de Limon. So these are super cute and I've been wanting these nail polishes for such a long time. Then I also got some more lipsticks from Lime Crime. The first shade is Contessa Fluorescent, which is just another really pretty pink and I just love the packaging. Ooh, I feel like I already have a color like this, but I don't know, I love the packaging. And then I got Centra Fuchsia and it's just another shade of pink. These um, lipsticks have a smell that reminds me of MAC lipsticks, which I love MAC lipsticks because they smell like vanilla. <sighs> and that's what these smells like. So I love, love, love the packaging. From Nigel's, I got the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Banana. And I just got the small one, which um, I should have gotten a bigger one. Also from Nigel's, I got the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. Um, I got a second one because my first one ran out so that's just how it looks like it's just a little bar soap so the reason why lime crime's line was so long was because lime crime is sold was lime crime was being sold by nymes which is a beauty supply store and um the people who shopped nymes had to wait in the line too but i did grab some things from nymes i got the chocolate soleil the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer from Nymes. That's just how it looks like and that's what I have on today. Then I also got the Lip Scrub by Sarah Hap and I just love the box. This is the grapefruit flavor but I love the little bow. It just makes me so happy. It feels like I'm opening up a little gift and this is how it looks like. It's just a sugar scrub. So there's this brand at iMatson. I've never heard of them. I've never seen them before but we walked past them and their their products looked interesting and so we decided to grab some, and I got two eyeshadows. And what this is, this is the shade Lulu, and I thought this would be a really cute blush color. And these are actually really pigmented. I'm not gonna swatch them because I don't want to get my hands dirty. I don't have anything around me to clean them. So yeah, I got Lulu and Coral Reef, which is a really pretty orange color. And the brand is called Saucebox, and that's how it looks like. 
Then I got the Mario Badescu drying lotion and my friend Sam uses this. She always had it on her face and um, I don't know, I never got one. But I've always been very interested in it because I heard a lot of good reviews about this and it does help with um, uh, my breakouts. Like I had a pimple growing right here and I put this on there for like three nights straight and it just disappeared. So I really love this stuff. Then I also got the Clarisonic Mia 2. I don't know why I didn't get the Aria. I really regret not getting the Aria because it was only like an extra 20 bucks. Um, but I didn't really want the Mia because I feel like everyone has the Mia. But I decided to get it anyway. Um, so I just got the lavender one. And I love the little case that it comes in. Super handy for travel because I do travel a lot. And the refreshing gel cleanser that comes with it. Then I got an Anastasia Brow Genius Kit. And... Uh, let me show you guys how this looks like if you don't know. I had this before, but the shade that I had was too dark. So I just returned it, and I don't know why I didn't get a new one. But, yeah. It comes with a little, like, powder. Um, powder for your, like, loose powder for your eyebrows. And then it comes with a gel. And then you mix the two together into a little paste, and then you put it on. It's a little complicated, but um, I decided to give it another try. And then I got the... Brow Powder Duo. So I decided to get this little duo to just put in my makeup bag so I could just take it with me wherever I go. Then I also got another Makeup Forever Aqua Brow and this time I got the shade 15. The shade I got before was 25 and this one is just a little lighter. And this one does have more of a red under undertone but um, this one might be easier to work with. So next I got a few things from Inglot and I purchased this at the Inglot store while I was in Vegas because we drove to Vegas the day before IMAX, and, um, yeah, I don't know, I went to Inglot, like, expecting to spend at least $100 on eyeshadows, because I really love the eyeshadows, so I was planning to, um, spend at least 100 on another, uh, whole, um, like, Z palette full of eyeshadows, but, I don't know, when I got there, I'm just like, I don't know, I'm, I really like the eyeshadows, but I was just like, I, let's, like, let's be real, I don't need any more eyeshadows, so I didn't get any eyeshadows, but I did get some other things. Um, I got two concealers. I got one in the shade 66 and one in the shade 64. So this one is more of my skin tone, and I like it for my eyebrows to go above. And I like it, I like it to just like double up anywhere like around my redness, like around my nose and things like that. Oh, and also to like carve out my lips when I have on red lips because I don't like to use a sh shade that's lighter than my skin um, for that so yeah and then I got a lighter one for under my brow to kind of highlight it and for under my eyes and these are super creamy and I really like these and so this is shade 64 then I got two gel liners and they're both black but I got one for me and one for my makeup kit because I've heard so many good things about this. It's super creamy. That's how it looks like. It's super matte and super creamy. Then I got a multi-action toner. And this one is for combination to oily skin. And this smells amazing. And then from MAC, um, I didn't purchase anything from MAC at iMats because the line was so crazy and it was just not worth it for me. I did not need anything from there enough that I was going to wait in line. Uh, when we went to Vegas, I went to the forum shops and they have a Mac Pro store there. So I decided to just shop there. I also forgot another a powder from Inglot as well. This is their pressed powder. And this is in the shade 15. So I decided to try out their powder because it's super soft. When you feel it, it just... I don't know, it makes your skin feel super soft. And then from MAC, I got some skincare items. This is the Studio Moisture Cream, and this stuff smells so good and so, so, so moisturizing to the skin. <sighs> smells like cucumber again. Um, but yeah, I tried it out in the store, and this stuff just is amazing. I'm going to put some on the back of my hands because they're super dry. But yeah, this is super moisturizing. Um, it's perfect for the winter time. So that's... How it looks like I'm, I'm, I'm not even into swatches, but since I'm putting it on the back of my hands, I decided to show you guys. I know this is for your face, but this is so moisturizing and 
it feels so nice on the skin. And then I also got the Fast Response Eye Cream. Three lipsticks from MAC. And I got the shade Cream Cup. And it's just like a nudish, pinkish, mauve color, I think. Um, then I got Heroin. And I've been wanting Heroin for so long. I just, I love purple. Purple is my favorite color, if you didn't know. So I've been wanting this for such a long time. I also got Flat Out Fabulous. And this is another shade I've been wanting for so long. But they kept, um, the store that, the store here was like sold out all the time. So um, this is the shade. It's a really pretty magenta with like a little bit of purple I don't know it's super pretty and also from MAC I got the 168 brush and I have the smaller version I have the Sigma one but it just doesn't compare to the real thing so I finally decided to get myself this brush so that is pretty much it and then I also got a huge makeup train case but I can't carry it and show you so I will add a video clip now so this is an overview of how the makeup train case looks and it's just a really cute pink color. So if you open this up, this is how it looks like. So it just has two trays right here that opens up and these can be adjusted. So if you can see this just little, um, little space blockers and you can just add them in right into the little slips right here and you can customize how big you want each space. So. I have some things in here, but it's not as organized and it's not as neat. And I still have some more things upstairs I need to add. And then in here is just a really big space. So I'm planning to just put my brushes and palettes and foundations in here. So on the sides, there's little clips like this on the sides. And I can just easily take that off. Also open up the sides of this and let this down. So it has these and I could, again, customize how big I want these. And then this tray comes out right here. And it's just a big open space down here for all of my tools. It also comes with this really nice lid and in case I decide that I don't want the makeup train case, I could just easily bring this. And it comes with wheels and a handle so I could easily just drag this with me wherever I go. Alright, so that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching and also thank you to those of you who requested this video. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye!